The casket was brought in by family members, including wife Margaret and famous son James Aguiaro. It was quite a sad day for the rugby league fraternity to have such a great man who fits in well with the development of schoolboys rugby league. Ifiso Segeyaro from Mohuveto village in Bena, Eastern Islands province, was one of the most skillful players in the PNG Kumuls in 1982 and 1983. His son, Penrith Pantis hooker James Segeyaro, was by his side since day one and paid his last tribute to the man who taught him everything about loving the game. The opportunities that we have today in our lives. For that, I say thank you, Dad. I love you. For what you have done for us. And this is a goodbye. But Alihimit, Ilu, Taigihe, Oyaro Matata, Oboe, until we meet again. Thank you, Father. PNG Rugby Football League noted his contribution in both the administration and nurturing the development of schoolboys program. Uh, the legacy that is left behind is something that we can build on for the future. Uh, it's left us a template. Uh, he put his time and effort into it. Uh, most of the time rugby league is run by a team of volunteers uh, who give their time and effort to the sport for basically no personal reward. Uh, and um, it's without the volunteers such as Ify and the many volunteers we have in the game, uh, the sport wouldn't survive and be where it is today. The memorable moments shared among his teammates both on and off field will not fade away easily, and his work on schoolboys can be seen in Antis Keeper, Israel Eliab, Wartova Puara Jr., and also James Segeyaro. And he's made a lot of contribution towards uh, the junior development in rugby league. Uh, if you look at the people in the Hunters team now, uh, and the Gurias and you know, other Digital Cup, he's got 17 of his products from the Milo under 19, uh, 16, sorry, including James Segeyaro. That's one individual with no money, but he's produced the goods. We all knew Ifiso Isagiaro, uh, and we knew him because he was a great rugby league uh, player, both for the Highlands region and for Papua New Guinea as a Kumu. He played a style of football that was exciting in those days, at the time. The casket departs for Goroka tomorrow. Tere Alex, National MTV News.